we as people are drawn to crisis and conflict and problems. There's something in us that is drawn to these things. And personally, I think it goes back to Genesis 3 where we see the effects of the fall and God's answer is he's going to put enmity, he's going to put conflict between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. There's this great tension built into creation because of the fall. And it's built in there and and all of life is touched by this conflict, good and evil, right and wrong. Uh, And and we see this even in movies, the tension and the climax, villains and heroes. But there was something that struck me, particularly about Apollo 13 when I watched it this time. At very near the end of the movie, the spacecraft is just about to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. And the big concern is, was the heat shield damaged by the explosion? And they have no way of knowing. And as the astronauts are plummeting into the atmosphere and, and the heat starts to build, down on the ground... The NASA people in Houston are talking about this moment. This is the moment of truth. They've overcome every other obstacle, but now is the moment of truth when these three men could be incinerated. And the public relations director of NASA NASA is sitting there counting up all the different risks and problems and what could happen. And, of course, he's thinking, what's the public going to say? And his statement in the movie, and I'm, I'm sure this is probably pretty authentic, he says, this could be the worst disaster we've ever faced. And the man who plays the flight operations director, his name in real life was Gene Granz, uh, and he's sort of the pastor of this group of of leaders. He's the one keeping everybody on focus, calming the nerves, making sure the right people are working on the right things, shepherding this whole group of people through this incredible ordeal. He turns to the PR director and he says, with all due respect, sir, I think this will be our finest hour. Two fundamentally different perspectives on the same situation. And I was intrigued by that. I thought, how often in life, when we're affected and faced with a problem or a crisis or a conflict, do we fear it will be our worst disaster, or do we look to it as being the moment our finest hour? And specifically, in your church, if your church today faced a major crisis, if you um, had a divorce of 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 a... a couple, a prominent couple, if a pastor stumbled and fell into immorality, if there was a case of sexual abuse, if two prominent leaders were suddenly engaged in a lawsuit, if a mission team on the field just fell apart through conflict, what attitude would would grip your church, would guide your church? Would it be, oh, this is going to be a great disaster? Or would you be saying, this will be our finest hour?